This video assumes that the drive belt has been cut and removed from the lawnmower. Please use OEM parts from your lawnmower manufacturer. It will ensure the best performance and maximum lifespan. We first need to remove the battery from the lawnmower to get access to the variable speed pulley. We are going to need to remove this hex bolt right here on top of the pulley system. There's also another bolt below this pulley. You'll need to use a socket wrench to get to the lower hex bolt on the bottom of the pulley. Up in here, there is a hex bolt. We're gonna loosen this. This is just below the pulley that drives the drive belt and the transmission. It's to the left rear of the lawnmower. I was able to free this using some WD-40 and putting a wrench on the top portion of the pulley system. Too. Don't lose this. In order to remove this pulley here, we need to release tension on the transmission belt, which is the upper belt in this system. In order to do that, up in here, there's a lever right here. And that's what swings this pulley right here into place. We're going to need to remove the drive belt from this pulley by pushing in on this lever here this tension lever. So I was able to push in on here and then lift the drive belt just over the pulley and you heard it snap into place. Now my transmission belt is loosened enough where I can take the whole system out. Now with the transmission belt loose I can then take it off of the pulley system and then begin to remove this pulley here. Here we go and it just lifts straight out. In order to remove the electric clutch pulley system we're going to need to remove the flywheel cover. There are four bolts which I have already loosened. These will need to come out and then the cover will come out with it. If you have an adjustable wrench that is large enough to fit around this nut go ahead and use that. If not Vice grips will work just fine. You may wish to request somebody to help hold this on the top and then you can turn the bolt on the bottom. Pay close attention to the orientation of these washers. The pulley system fell out very quickly. I would like to note that if this happens to you, that this piece here, this piece here needs to go in this position with the fattest, flattest side up towards the engine block. You'll slide that back up and then you'll put your pulley system in. I just wanted to note because this fell out and I wasn't expecting this piece to be here. When you look at your replacement drive belt, you'll notice that this top portion is wider, whereas the bottom portion is much narrower. This side of the belt needs to go facing towards the pulley. The outside that's wider needs to be facing away from the pulley. Now that we have the engine pulley removed, we will need to feed the belt onto the pulley Put the pulley back up in here and the belt will need to be fit and the belt will need to be fed between these two
Now that we have the engine pulley removed, now that we have the engine pulley removed, we will need to get the drive belt, put it on the pulley, put the pulley back into place, and then mine the pin here. The drive belt will need to go in between the pins. I lowered the deck on my lawnmower to give me more working room. I had to put some WD-40 on the spring and pin, just slide this straight out and it releases um, from right here. So it gave me a little bit more working room. All right, so this is probably gonna be a bit difficult to show, but these are the pulleys that are used for the deck right here. Just behind and up above, there are two more pulleys. These two pulleys here are for the driving mechanism. The belt is gonna wrap around those and then it's very difficult to show, but there is a channel that the belt goes up into. Up towards the top part of the picture are the two pulleys. And then just beyond them is this little ledge here, the shelf. So as I explained, here's that ledge and here's the channel that the belt was fed up into. And there's the belt right there. So we're going to grab that belt. We're going to pull it up through here. The pulley system is going to go back up onto this. The pulley system is going to go back up onto this bar here. And the belt will wrap around that pulley. This belt goes on the top pulley. And it'll, it'll sit right up in here around these flanges. And these flanges will keep the belt in place. All right, now that we've got the pulley fed through that slotted area I was referring to before, now we can put the pulley around the tension arm here and around this pulley. So if I'm on the left-hand side of the lawnmower, I'm going to take the side of the belt that is the furthest away from me, and I'm going to take that, and I'm going to slide it up in between these two pulleys here, Right here, just like this. What happens is if you push on the pedal, it's going to bring this out and it's going to push tension on the belt. I'm going to take the other side and I'm going to loop it through this piece here. And then I'm going to feed it through. This channel right up in here. And now we go to the back of the lawnmower. So this is the area that I fed the belt up through. Okay, right up, right up above this arm. All right, now we're gonna put the variable speed pulley back into place and we're gonna try and loop the belt around it. Take note that I'm putting the belt on the variable speed pulley on the bottom portion. Make sure your belt goes below and clears this pulley here on the right, this one here. Now when we depress the gas on the lawnmower, that belt will tighten up. I'm also replacing the transmission belt. That goes on the top portion of this pulley here. In order to get the transmission belt into place, this piece needs to be flat and level. So I'm going to raise the deck right here. And by doing that, this piece down here is now flat. And I can move the belt in between it and the pulley. The last part to the transmission belt is to get this belt onto the pulley right here. If you pull on this arm and you pull it towards you, you'll be able to get the belt 
onto the back side of the pulley. And there we go. Now the belt is on the back side of the pulley. All set. Now we need to tighten this bolt back up. Remember that there was a nut and a washer that goes to the opposite side of this bolt here. So I'm going to put my washer on first, then the nut, and I'm going to use a 14 millimeter socket wrench to tighten it into place. We can hand tighten this for right now. This is for the variable speed pulley at the rear of the lawnmower. All right, we're going to remove the vice grips. And we're going to put the flywheel cover back on. Thanks for watching. I hope this proved helpful.